Hello, I'm going to talk today about the Kodak Ektar H35 and the Kodak H35N, um, also Ektar, <laughs> left that out. Okay, I've had this one for a little while and I absolutely love it. I carry it around with me. It is small enough to fit in my pocket, even my jeans pocket, and so it's very easy to carry around. Um, it comes with this little strap, so you can just hold it, and you can see the features. It has a flash. Flash is not very strong, and it does strain batteries. If you're interested in seeing some sample images, uh, I do have a video of some slides of some images from this camera. It's a half frame, and if you're watching this, you're probably already familiar with this one, and you want to know about the new version. So. I am going to talk about that one now. Um, I just got this one in today off of Amazon and I believe I got the last one. Um, when I put in my order for it, there were three left. I think they sold out in two days. Um, and there was an issue with my order, so I had to correct it, but it still had it on hold for me. And when I was going to switch colors, possibly, I went and looked, and they were all gone. The only one left was left was mine that they were holding for me. So luckily, I got it. So opening it here, I chose the pink version, which if you can see, it's not truly pink. Pink. I was a little disappointed in that. It's actually just very reflective. Um, if you didn't tell someone it was pink, they may not even know it was pink. So if this is the only one you can find and all they have is the pink one left um, and you don't, you're not a pink person, then this one may still work for you. I think if I had it to do over again, I would have picked the blue. Not that that matters or affects the pictures. Um, I just like a camera that's also aesthetically pleasing. Um, so let's do, let's compare. I felt like this camera was a little bigger than this one, but I don't think it is. Let's see, it's the same here. So yeah, it's the same. Okay, so the difference in this one is that one, you can see it has a bulb mode. Um, it also still has the flash. It's a little hard to turn, so it's not, see I can't even get it, there we go. It's not easy at all. Um, and then it has a star filter, which also is not that easy, but once you work with it, it gets a little easier. So this is a half frame camera and the star filter will give you nice little star burst effects wherever the sun is shining or there's a glisten or maybe a neon sign. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to put a roll in this and I will show those. Uh, pictures and put up a video of that as well. Um, okay, let's see that. Like the difference I was told was in loading this. Okay, so film goes here, the canister, and then loads right there. And okay, let's see. Oops. <laughs> filming that one. <laughs> okay, yeah, there. So, it's, so far, I don't know. It comes with, um, if there's that big of a difference, is this one I think is 65 right now. I got this one not knowing how much I was going to actually like it. Um, but it was last year, I believe, on after Thanksgiving, and it was like 20 something dollars, so I thought, hmm, I'll give it a try. I usually use medium format cameras, and I just thought this looked fun. So I got this camera, and I actually am really impressed with the images, so much so I take the camera with me everywhere. It's in my purse all the time. It's so small, it's easy to do. Um, I recommend using 24 exposures because that would be 48 pictures because it's half frame. Um, it's really hard sometimes to take 72 photos, especially if you're used to medium format and you're used to 12 exposures or 10. So 72 lasts a long time. <laughs> but if you are trigger happy, it may be a good idea. 
Um, but I try to use 24 exposures. Um, and I will do that in this one as well. Actually, if I could find 12 exposures, I might try that just so I can see the effects of the camera. Um, so I don't know if it's worth the price difference yet. Um, like I said, this one's now 49, but I got it for 20, I think 27, um, around Christmas time after Thanksgiving. And this one is 69. Um, so that's the price difference. They're basically same camera, except for this one has bulb mode and has a star flash. I mean, not star flash, excuse me, a star filter. Um, yeah. So, tune back in and hopefully I'll have some images soon from this one. I already have some from this one posted. Uh, so please go look at those. And if you like them, give me a thumbs up. See ya, bye.